Hey, Maddie. Thanks for joining. Do you have your wine for our second organize and socialize um, for our second week over here? I hope you have your wine. It just makes it that much more fun. If you'll just hang on with me another couple of minutes, I'd love for more people to join. We've got some good stuff going on for tonight's live. We're gonna be talking about linen and linen closets. Hey, Nechama. So happy you're here. A baby with a bottle. Oh, listen, I didn't specify, well, I did specify a bottle of wine, but you know, a bottle of formula will have to do. Hey, Khani, thanks for coming. Should we wait another couple of minutes? You guys okay with that? Nachama, Khani, you got your wine? It's really, really good wine. Are you a white or a red? Okay, should we just go for it? Let's just go for it and people can watch it again later if they want, right? Um, okay, so last week we spoke about, um, we spoke about the front entrance and we are trying to create habits over here, right? Every week we wanna create a new habit. And so last week's habit was on a daily basis to tidy up your entranceway. Um, so I hope you guys are all doing that and you're able to upkeep that on a daily basis. Um, tonight we're gonna be discussing the linen closet. And the reason why I chose this topic, Laser, you wanna be in my live video? Not right now, maybe another time. That's my hubs. Hey, Chaya. Um, so the reason why I chose the topic of a linen closet for the second week is because I feel like we're on this journey, we're on this organizing journey, and we want to make it super manageable. And sometimes we look at the spaces in our home and it can seem really overwhelming. You know, oh my God, oh, my kitchen, I have to get my kitchen. You know, I have to get this, I have to fix this or my playroom is a mess, it's crazy. So I chose the linen closet because it's a closet. It's something that is totally manageable. It's just one closet and it should not take too long to do. Obviously depending on the size and how much you have going on in there, but um, that's just, that was my thought process with all of this. Um, now, if you wanna be brave, you can totally like Go ahead now, right to your linen closet, and as I'm speaking, implement the tips that I'm gonna be giving you and organize it right now. And if you don't wanna do that, that's also fine, and you can totally just um, take notes if you want and organize it tomorrow, whatever suits you. Um, okay, I saw a really great quote, and I'm gonna read it because I don't know it off by heart. Um, and it goes like this. Opening up your closet should be like arriving at a really good party where everyone you see is someone you like. Now, doesn't that sound amazing, right? And I think this can apply to pretty much every area of organizing. You just wanna be able to like love what you have around you, right? You wanna love the people around you. You wanna love the things you own. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are going through your closet and decluttering and choosing the things that you want to keep. Now, you know this whole um, Mary Kondo tidying up phase, or what should I say, um, uh, whatchamacallit, whatever, you know, with her whole show um, on Netflix, everyone is in this like 
spark joy, spark joy this, spark joy that. And I love Marie Kondo and I love the whole spark joy thing. I use it a lot with my clients. Um, but I also know that sometimes we we touch things and maybe some items don't spark joy. Like I think that's a possibility. Um, maybe not every item speaks to us completely. Um, or we want to just hold on to things even if it doesn't spark joy, maybe for something more practical. But I want you to think of it like this. If you were shopping right now, would you buy that item? So we're, today we're talking about a linen closet. Um, would you buy this set of towels if I was shopping today? Or would I buy this set of linen if I was shopping today? Um, or if it's like little pieces, right? Maybe it's just a sheet or just a duvet cover. Hey guys, thanks for joining. Um, whatever it is, whatever you know you have in there, just ask yourself that question. Is this something that I love? Is this something that I would buy if I was shopping today? Um, and now we're gonna get right into it. Hey Bossy, thanks for joining. Um, when you're working in any space, you want to pull everything out of that space, okay? It basically gives you a fresh space to, um, to start with, and it just gives you like a fresh ground. So, in our linen closet, we're going to pull everything out, okay? That's going to be the towels, the linen, the um, whatever else you might keep in there. For me, I also keep some sleeping bags. I keep a pack and play. I keep my vacuum cleaner in there. Um, for me, it's just a, I'm going to show you actually my linen closet soon and you'll get to see it. Um, but those are some of the things that I keep in mind. So bring it out, pull everything out. And as you're pulling it out, you want to divide it and sort it into categories. So your towels in one pile and your linen in another pile and your sleeping bags in another pile. And at, it's usually at this point that it gets extremely overwhelming. It's like, oh my goodness, you don't even realize how much you can fit in one closet when it's in there. But when you pull it out, somehow it seems like a ton of stuff. So just, you know, breathe through it. Put on music if that's something that helps you relax. Um, open some windows, let in some fresh air. But if you're on the East Coast, you do not want to open windows. Over here in Arizona, it's beautiful though. So you can if you're on the West Coast. Um, so before we put things back, we want to make sure that we're only putting back things that belong. Things that would belong in a linen closet. And if you come across something that doesn't belong, hey Shay, thanks for coming on. If you come across something that does not belong, then we're gonna find another home for it. Whether it's something, if it's something you wanna keep, then we're gonna find the right place for it. And if it's something that is just old and ratted out, then we're gonna to wanna to dispose of it. So we're gonna start with towels, okay? Before we organize and before we make everything look nice and neat, we wanna minimize. We wanna make sure, like I said before, that we're keeping the important things, the ones the items that we love, um, the items that we want to keep and we want to have in our home. Now, if a towel, sometimes they can, after a lot of use, they can start to become bare and thin and they don't actually do their job anymore. So that's not going to be something we're going to want to keep. We're going to want to get rid of that and put that in the donate pile or maybe just throw it out. Or maybe you want to use it as a rag, which is also fine. But let's not keep that with the good towels. Let's put that with the rags. Or if you don't have a place for rags, then create a new space. Maybe you want to get a cute little bin to hold your rags. Um, and we're going to keep those all those things that are not good away from the good towels. Okay? So... This was a very fast process. We went through all the towels, all the bath towels, all the hand towels, and the washcloths. And if there's another kind of towel you can think of, let me know, but I can't. I'm gonna have a little more before we continue. And now I wanna show you how to fold towels correctly to maximize your space, okay? So just bear with me.
Okay. Here I am. Do you all see me? Do you see me? Wave, say hi. Show me some love. Okay, so here we have a bath towel. Okay, now I'm in my kitchen. This is not usually where I fold my linens, but it's just the most practical for what we're dealing with. Okay, so our towel is nice and open. I always like to start with taking both ends and folding it together in half. So we're dealing with half the size now. Okay, now it's all nice and flat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in thirds. We're gonna bring one side over and then we're gonna bring the other side over. And then we kind of have like this long thingy over here and we're gonna fold it again in thirds. Okay, I hope you guys see me. It's like hard for me to see all the way here. And here you have it, you have your towel. Um, I just, it, it really, you could fit so much on one shelf. Um, you can stack them up a little, you can fit, usually like my, my um, linen closet is a pretty standard size and I can fit three rows of towels. So it really, it really maximizes the space. So if any of you are brave enough, um, go grab a towel and I can do it again, step by step, okay? Who's going to get a towel, a bath towel? And we can learn it, we can practice this together. I can't see the comments, but I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come back soon and look at it. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna take the towel and we're gonna fold it over lengthwise, okay? Now we make sure it's nice and flat. Um, I like to fold it over the lengthwise. I know some people do different methods. This is mine. It just makes it easier to work with like a smaller area than something so big. Um, we fold it over in thirds next. One side over, the other side over, and then again in thirds. And it's just nice and compact and beautiful. Look at that. Okay, that's our bath towel. Now I'm gonna show you a hand towel. Okay, so we have the length, we have it open up. Again, I always fold it in half first. Okay, so it's folded in half, and then I'm gonna fold it in half again, and then I'm gonna fold it over in half the other way. Now. Is this the only way to fold a hand towel? No. Actually, in my, for my dish towels, um, I actually roll them like this. So once it's folded in half and over again, I just roll it just like that. And it sits in my drawer just the way my drawer is that I keep them in. It fits neater and I see everything I have and I just have it in like a row just like that. But for my my hand towels that are not dish towels that I don't keep in my kitchen. Um, I fold it just like that, okay? And now for a washcloth, super, super simple, okay? We're just gonna fold it in half and then just wanna make sure it's nice and aligned and we fold it in half again, okay? This is not part of the set, obviously, but I'll show you in my linen closet how I actually keep my washcloths because it's a smaller item. I keep those, the washcloths in a basket and it's actually like, it adds a lot of, um, you know, a little more character to it. Okay, let's see what's been going on while I was gone. Hey, Nahami, thanks for joining and whoever else joined. Um, okay, so. Hi, Yosef. Thanks for joining. So, we finished towels. Now, we are on to linen. So, for those of you who weren't here before, like I said with the towels, we are going to go through all the sets of linen, okay? And we're going to... Um, we're gonna choose what we wanna keep. We're gonna go through it. Do I love this set? Is it a complete set? I personally like to, when I set my beds, 
I like to, I like it to be a complete set. It looks nicer. It looks more put together. Um, every time you walk in a room, it looks so nice when you have a full, uh, the same set of linen, especially on both beds. You know, think about that when you're going through it. Maybe your guest room, um, you know, can use some sprucing up and can use a new set of linen. So just as you're going through it, you know, think to yourself, is this something I love? Is this something I would buy today if I was, you know, shopping for linen? And now that you have your complete sets of linen, you know which ones you're going to be keeping. Um, you, we are going to get ready to put things back. Now, I do admit I actually have um, a couple of like extra... Um, a couple of extra sheets, a couple of extra pillowcases, just it's good to have. Um, but just limit it, you know? Don't have too many. Keep your main sets complete and then the small the you know a couple of extra, maybe like two or three sheets or two or three extra pillowcases, and keep it at that. Now, there are many different methods of folding linen. You know, there's the one where you fold linen and you put it in a, store it in the pillowcase. Um, I've actually tried that. I saw it a while ago and I'm like, well, this was a while ago, but I'm like, should I keep this? Should I, should I do this method? I tried it and honestly, I didn't love how it looked in the closet. So I don't do it like that, but I just fold each thing and I, I fold the duvet cover. I use duvets. I fold the duvet cover and the fitted sheet and the pillowcase and I just stack it in my closet and you see a full set together and that's it. It's really, really easy and simple. And I am going to show you now how I fold linen. Are you ready? Hey, Nachami. <laughs> I like the method where you smush up the linen and hide it in a box. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Okay. So guys, if you want, go run while I'm like getting set up and, and get your linen and we'll fold it together and that way you'll learn how to do it. Okay. Should I start with the easier or the harder? Everyone hates a fitted sheet, right? Everybody despises it. So hard, it's so annoying. This is something my mama taught me. Um, and it's just, you know, it's really not that difficult once you know how to do it and you have a system and you know, and you just go, you know, you know how to fold it. Um, you know, maybe folding laundry isn't your favorite thing to do. Honestly, it's not my favorite thing to do either. But I like it folded a certain way, so I do it. So maybe when you're like folding linen or folding laundry, like do something that you love. Call up a sister or a friend or watch a show. That's, those are the things that I do. That's why I'm suggesting those. But do anything that makes you feel good while you're doing it. Okay? So I hope some of you have a fitted sheet with you so you can learn how to do it. So what I have here is... I'm holding the sheet lengthwise, okay? And I have one hand in one corner and one hand in the other corner. Um, I hope you can see me well. And I'm gonna stick one corner inside the other one and turn it over. So basically what I'm doing is I'm folding it in half but I'm sticking the corners inside of each other. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I have my corners right here. Now, I'm gonna lay it flat. This, this step just makes it easier to lay it flat, okay? And I want it to become a square. So I'm folding in the sides, okay? Now, just like with the towels, we're gonna fold it in thirds now. So I'm gonna take one side and fold it over. And then I'm going to take the other side and fold it over. And then, just like the towel, same exact method. I have one long strip here and we're going to fold it. Actually, what I'm going to do is instead of in thirds, I'm going to fold it in half and then 
I'll make that easier for you guys. And then in half again. Okay, so in half and in half. How does he, how do you like it? Should we try that again? Or do you guys have it down pat? Here is the fitted sheet. So I'm just going to show you the last step one more time because I feel like maybe it didn't come across clear enough. So after you fold it in thirds, then you're going to fold it in half and then in half again. Okay? And there you go. There you have it, a fitted sheet. Now I am going to show you a duvet cover. Okay? So it's pretty much, again, the same method as the towel. It's just easier to start off with like a smaller like piece of material or fabric or whatever you're dealing with. So we just fold it lengthwise, we fold it over, we fold it in half. Okay, make sure that corners are met and everything is nice and neat. Okay, so I'm just gonna straighten it out on the table. Okay, now, what I am going to do is, I am going to fold it in thirds, okay, and I'm going to fold this side over, and now we have, again, this line, and we're going to fold it in half, and in half again, okay? Um, if you want, like it's still kind of long, so you can always fold it in half one more time. Okay, almost the same size, it's still a work in progress. And now we have our pillowcase. Okay, so again, we're going to fold it in half. Fold it in half again, fold it in half again, nice and compact. I'm actually going to unfold that. Hmm. Let's put that back. And we have our linen all folded, okay? So I hope that was helpful for you. Oh, you said do it again. Should I do it again? Should I do the fitted sheet again? Let me know. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do, one second, something happened there. What I am gonna do now is we folded the main items that belong in the closet, in the linen closet. And now I'm gonna take you. Okay, Nahami, I'm gonna go back to the fitted sheet after. But now I'm going to take you, I'm going to whisper, because it's near my kid's bedroom. And I'm going to show you my linen closet. Let's see if I could flip it. Okay, here we go. Here is my linen closet. I'm going to show you what I have. Okay, so up here, if you see, the shelves are labeled, so you can see exactly what's where. I have baby blankets. I have a couple of bins here. One has baby sheets, um, soft blankets, and any extra sheets over there. Um, you always want to put things that you use less often up high and things that are used more often lower down. Um, here I have a couple of sets of linen, another set of linen. I have my towels. Do you see how? You can fit three, like this is a very standard closet, I could fit three rows of towels um, on one shelf. So it's really, you know, maximizing this space. Um, so just what I have over here, and I'll explain why I keep these things here. The vacuum cleaner I keep here, it really doesn't get in my way. I don't open this closet on a daily basis anyway. 
um, so it's fine. It doesn't bother me. Um, okay, back here I have hand towels. This is my bin that I have for washcloths. It just, you know, for smaller items, it's always a great idea to hold to hold it all in a bin. Um, I have some swimming towels, which we're not using this time of year anyway. And this basket is I pull out when we're hosting guests and you know, you want like a, a towel per person. So it's just like little folded hand towels and I pull it out so it's like really easy and ready to go. I like fold it and put it there when um, I'm washing them from the laundry. Okay, and down here I have like a small sheet and a pack and play. And you know, yes, it doesn't fit perfectly, but again, it doesn't really get in my way because I'm not using these things all the time and it's just everything is there ready and I don't mind moving it. Back here, I keep sleeping bags. I actually use these pretty often, but I'm fine keeping it back there because, well, not very often, but often enough that I want it more centrally located. Um, and I, um, I keep them back there. I just like how they're tucked away and it fits underneath there really well. And that's my linen closet. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to shut that light and we'll flip me around. Hope the kids are still sleeping, if you know what I mean. Okay, so um, I'm going to get to that fitted sheet, Nahami. I just want to finish some other things. Okay, so let's have some wine. Anyone else drinking with me? It's no fun drinking alone. Okay, how can you organize your linen closet in a decorative way? A follower sent me this question, and my suggestion is actually with bins and baskets. I, there are some people that put every item, even towels and linen, in baskets, and they keep everything in baskets. Um, if you like that, that's great. You totally do that. And you can get different kinds of baskets. I like Michael's actually has really cool ones. Um, Target, of course, the container store, but it might be a little pricier. Um, but there's so many options all around, and it just adds it just adds beauty and it's convenient too. And of course, label the baskets. Know what you have inside, and not only for yourself, but you can have other people help you as well, and grab something for you when you need it. Now, before you buy the bins though, you want to make sure that you know the dimensions of the shelf. You don't want to buy a bin and it's going to be like hanging off the edge or um, the items that you have inside might not fit or it might be too large for what you need. So just, I always recommend not buying bins first and first doing the organization part of it, know what you have, declutter. Get rid of some things. Get rid of the things you don't like anymore. And that way you know exactly what you have and what size baskets to use. Um, another question I got is, what other kind of items can you keep in your linen closet? Great question. You can keep, if you have a larger linen closet, firstly you can keep um, bulkier items like extra blankets or pillows, things like that. Um, but we, all, we only want to keep items that will fit in there, right? So, like I have their sleeping bags, a pack and play, vacuum cleaner. You can keep like a bin of extra batteries, extra light bulbs. Those kind of things totally fit in with the theme of a linen closet. Uh, maybe a medicine, um, you know, a container with your medicines and stuff. Those are great items to keep in your linen closet if you have the space. Now, any items like large, bulky, you know, the larger, bulkier things like extra blankets, I suggest to store them in cedar bags. You can get them on Amazon. They're not so expensive. And it really, it really um, keeps things in, it keeps it fresh and clean. 
there was, I don't know, maybe this is still a phase, but um, I used to be into those, you know, like those vacuum Ziploc bags and you like vacuum the air out, but those are, I do not like them at all. I found that after a while, air would just like seep into it somehow, so it didn't really keep them as fresh as you think it would. Um, it would also get holes easily. So I stay far away from those, and I love these large cedar bags. Um, cedar is just, if you don't know, it's just something, uh, um, it's a material that keeps things fresh. So I personally, as you see, it's not a huge linen closet what I have, but you could find other spaces to keep it in, right? So what I do is I actually keep it in my guest room. Up on top, I have a shelf, and I don't need those items very often at all. So I keep it high up, I keep it in a bag, up and away, and it stays there until I need it. And it's been working for me. I've been doing this, um, I've been using those cedar bags for like five years now. So um, I would say it's good to go. Now, after last live, we chose a habit of... We chose a habit to be able to um, to incorporate into our lifestyle because that's the whole point of this. We want to, to become more organized. It's really about creating habits that are attainable. So last week for the entryway, we made a habit. We are trying to tidy up the entryway on a daily basis. Um, for linen, for the linen closet, I want you guys to practice folding the way I showed you. So take the couple of extra minutes. It's really gonna make such a difference every time you open your closet and you see it. Um, I, I know for me, sorry guys, I got an alarm. I don't know if you heard that. Um, okay, so habit for the week is, or forever, Fold your linen and your towels the way I showed you. Make sure it's nice and neat. Do not take Nahami's advice and mush it in a bin. Mm -mm, not cool. Um, but we are going to take the time to fold it nicely and neatly. And as you saw, it really doesn't take long. Um, and I'm going to show you one more time how to fold the fitted sheet. Okay? Give me a sec. Okay. So I'm gonna open this up. Go grab your fitted sheets. Go grab it. Okay, maybe something I didn't mention before was to hold it like inside out at the beginning, okay? because it's gonna end up being like right side in at the end, but when you start, you wanna start holding it lengthwise and your fingers in the corners, opposite corners, okay? And you're gonna turn one side over the other. So you're really, you're sticking one corner inside the other corner. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? Now I'm gonna lay it flat here so that I have space to work. We're gonna flatten it out. Hey guys, time me. We'll see how long it really takes to fold a fitted sheet. I know for myself, when I do laundry, sometimes I actually time myself because it's like not the most fun task. And so, and I think it takes way longer than it does. So I say, really it takes me about like maybe 10 to 15 minutes to fold a load of laundry, depending on the size. And I like to tie myself. I like to turn it into this really fun game, you know? Anyway, okay, so we have our footage sheet folded, um, uh, laid out flat on the table. Now we're gonna fold the sides in, just so it's like nice and even and a square. Cause you know, the fitted sheet, the corners are like a little weird, right? Okay, so now we have a square. Now we're gonna fold it in thirds. We're gonna take one side and fold it towards the center. And now we're going to take the other side and fold it over. Okay. Now we're going to take this, fold it over all the way in half. And one more time in half. 
And there you have it, a fitted sheet. So, you guys, that is all I have for tonight. And thank you all for joining. It really means so much to me. I got amazing feedback last time, and I'm so happy you guys are here tonight. And I'll see you next week. Um, if you have any ideas of another area in your life that you want to get organized, that you want me to discuss over here, send me a DM, and I'll be happy to um, discuss it at some point. So have a great night. Get your wine, drink it up, and don't forget to stay nice and organized. Good night, guys. Thank you.